I love True Covenant Church. I love Pastor Ginyard and Lady Verna because I feel empowered. I love the word that, that comes forth. I love the camaraderie. I appreciate everything that I get from True Covenant Church. God bless you and heaven smile upon you is my prayer. I'm Pastor Barry L. Guignard, Jr., pastor of True Covenant Church. And I'm Lady Carnegie. And we're celebrating three years of ministry. You know, it seems like just a short while ago that I received the call to pastor, even a shorter time since I accepted that call, and just yesterday that we opened the doors on June 1st, 2008. Well, since that time, God has truly blessed us, and 2010 was a year that we will never forget. Everything wasn't all good though. In fact, the night before our second anniversary, there was a huge storm that produced a small lake on the roof. As a result, the ceiling partially fell in, almost stopping us from having church altogether. However, we were not defeated and the service was wonderful. Superintendent Charles J. Johnson III and the Anderson Memorial Church family came to celebrate with us. Later on that month, we had our first annual summer kickoff lock-in. Children were everywhere. They played all kinds of games and even watched a few movies. I do believe a great time was had by all from start to finish. Well, almost all. Bailey woke up to a little surprise that she wasn't expecting. During the month of July, we started a summer food program for the youth in our community. The turnout wasn't all that great. However, for us doing it for the first time, I think we did an excellent job. We will learn from what we did right and what we did wrong, and the next time, I know it will be awesome. August was a full month. We finished our summer food program, then we held our second annual church picnic. The weather wasn't the best, but we didn't let that stop us. The food was hot off the grill and the games kept everybody smiling. Even Mary Poppins dropped in for a bit. To close out the month, we gave away school supplies as part of our third annual Youth Day.
You know, in the initial years of anything, there are quite a few firsts, and we're no exception. September the 5th, 2010, our church celebrated our first ever Good Shepherd Sunday, and I was the honoree because that just so happened to be my actual birthday. I want everyone to know that I really enjoyed what I got that day, especially my new iPad. October is Vision and Mission Month, so each October we rehearse our purpose as a ministry. Part of that purpose is to empower the body of Christ both naturally and spiritually. To that end, we invited a very good friend of mine, Ms. Dawn Brundage, to come and share her testimony and other helpful information in our third annual Breast Cancer Awareness Sunday. Then, in what has become one of the highlights of our year, the youth department, a group we call the PAC, held its third Pack-a-Treat party. In November, the Saints of the Church of God in Christ packed up and traveled to St. Louis, Missouri for the 103rd Holy Convocation. Our church represented in a great way because not only did Pastor and I attend, but our youth department took center stage on a national level. Next up on the calendar was Christmas. The pack presented a Christmas play for the first time, and we had a fun-filled fellowship. with our watch night viewing of the featured film, mm -hmm. Letters to God. You sleep, okay? Mom? Mm -hmm. Do you think that Mrs. Baker's baby was born to replace me? Sweetie, why in the world would you think something like that? Well, Alex told me that as she turned her sister told her that somebody dies, Somebody's born to replace them. Tyler. <laughs> I don't really think it works that way. But Ashley's new sister is 13. Oh. She's 13. Well. <laughs> well, with all due respect to Ashley Turner's sister, only God knows for sure how these things work. Well... If Ashley's new sister is right, I would want Mrs. Baker's baby to replace me. He's very cute. Nobody could replace you. I love you. Mom? Hmm? You know that God picked you. What? Yeah. He picked you to be my mom. You know, 2011 so far has been a whirlwind. Some of us participated in an absolute fast for the first time ever. We also celebrated our Black History Month with a new little twist. Then, after being hit with yet another challenge, we showed the resolve of a champion by coming out and hosting our first ever Mother's Day brunch. Right like a son. My dream. Then the wall rose, rose slowly, slowly, between me and my dream. 
You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. Yes. You may chop me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I rise. It's been observed before that society for a long time have discriminated against another minority. Good morning, Daddy. Ain't you heard the boogie woogie rumble of dream deferred? Listen to it closely, you hear their feet beating out and beating out, you think. Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed, planted, and gathered into barns, and no man could hear me. And then our woman. Is the dream still alive? Should people continue to strive to make this world a better land where man is joined hand in hand? Well, children, where there's so much racket, there must be something out of Kenton. I think the twits that the Negroes of the South and the women at the North all talking about whites, the white man will be in the fix pretty soon. Hope is the basis of our faith. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of our members, the well-wishers, and the supporters of True Covenant Church. This year has some lasting memories, and I am encouraged because I believe the best is yet to come. So remember, fight the good fight of faith and know that we have been empowered to, to be, be God's, God's church and God's, God's people. God bless you.